Hey guys, so I'm just about to sit, I just sat down and I'm just about to start working my business and follow up with people, start conversations with people and um, all that stuff. So I thought what I would do is record myself working and so you can see firsthand what it looks like what I do um, and stuff like that. So hopefully this will help. All I'm going to do is I'm going to share my screen and I usually work from my phone so I might be a little slow on my computer but I wanted to show you how simple working your business is and how you know just by doing the basic things can just make your business grow and accelerate your business forward. Now if you're frustrated in your business right now and you're like, I don't know why anybody's not signing up. Everybody's telling me no. I don't know why I'm not hitting Emerald. I don't know why I'm not hitting Diamond, blah, 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 blah. Um, instead of saying, why am I not hitting these things? Like, why am I not growing my business? Take a step back and look at what you're actually doing to grow your business. Look at your posting. Look at how many... Um, how much time you're devoting to working your business per day. Are you really doing the vitals, behaviors that it takes in order to move your business forward, in order to get to the next level, in order to earn that income that we all want to earn? So, and so I encourage you to change your mindset instead of, instead of why me, why, why isn't this happening? Why isn't this happening? Instead, refocus your energy on what can I do differently to make this happen? What can I do differently to, you know, get people signed up to hit success club every month? Um, so change your mindset, make that shift. Because if we are just Debbie Downers all the time, if we're, if we're just wallowing in our own, like feeling like a failure, um, you know, that's just not going to help us. <laughs> it's not going to help us. And, and it's just going to, we're not going to get anywhere with that attitude in this, in this type of business. So, um, okay. So anyway, I'm going to get to work and I'm just going to share my screen really fast. Um, and okay. So hopefully you guys can see my screen. Um, where am I? Oh, there I am. Okay. So yes, yeah, so you should be able to see my screen. This is my workout I did today. I'm going to go right into my Facebook. I'm not going to do Instagram right now. I'm just going to go on Facebook and um, I am just going to start from there. It says my messenger is currently unavailable, but I'm just going to refresh my page. Um, and like I said, you guys, hopefully this is really helpful. What I've already done is I have a list of people that I just went through my Facebook account on and I just thought, well, I haven't talked to that person in a while. I don't know if I've ever talked to that person. I just have a list of names. I don't have a list of follow-ups. I don't have a list of, oh, I need to invite these people. I just have names. So I'm going to go to those, that name, and I'm going to see what conversations that I did have with them in the past. Do I need to invite them to my challenge group? Do I need to just talk to them and have a conversation with them? Um, do I need to follow up with them? Maybe I already invited them and we haven't talked in a while. So um, that's what we're going to do. I'll, that's my nephew. Um, okay. Mom? Yeah. Can we play inside? Yeah, you can. Okay. Let's see if my messenger pops up. Okay. Mom, can I go out in the garage? Perfect. Uh, if you stay in the driveway, you can. Okay, I'm going to go straight to, so I'm just going to search my messenger with the names that I have written down. Okay, so this is a girl that I had written down, and it looks like she never read my message. She never did anything with it. Um, but I'm going to message her anyway because I just noticed that she's in Spokane, Washington, and I just moved here. So, And this was way back in January when I didn't even know I was moving here in the first place. So, um, And let me see. We are friends on Facebook. And since I haven't really had a conversation with her, I'm going to go on her Facebook page. I'm just going to see what she's all about. How do I know her? See, I don't even know. She has kids, obviously. Okay. She has friends. We have no mutual friends. Okay, it looks like she just liked my Facebook uh, like page. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to message her. And I'm just going to say something like, Hey, Megan. If I can spell her name right. Well, I guess that was right. Um... 
let's see, I noticed that you're from, don't even judge my typing, you guys. And like I said, I'm never on my computer. So I noticed that you live in Spokane. I just moved here and thought I would connect with you. How long have you lived in Spokane? That's as easy as that, you guys. I just created a new conversation. Since we didn't really have a conversation to begin with, I'm not gonna be like, hey, Megan, do you wanna join my challenge group? Because then she'll be like, delete. She just wants to sell me something. So I noticed that she's in Spokane. I wanted to connect with her because she's a mom, you know, just like I am. And so we do have that in common. So there's that. Okay, next. I'm just gonna search in here. I'm just going down my list, you guys. And you can do this any way, really. Like, um, okay, we're friends. She's cute. How do I even know her? She's in Colorado. For mutual friends. Okay, let me see if I've ever messaged her. This is literally what I do, you guys, when I work. I've never talked to her before. She's in my my Facebook. We're friends and I've never talked to her before. So I am going to create a new conversation with her and she obviously has a little girl, super cute. So all I'm going to say is, hey Charlotte, I noticed that we are Facebook friends and I... haven't even connected with you yet. I was totally creeping on your face, on your profile. Actually, I'm gonna delete this. I'm just gonna say, hey Charlotte, I was totally creeping on your profile and let's see. Sometimes it takes some thought, you guys. What does she post about? A little girl. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. Okay, so it's totally creeping in your profile. And just had to jump into your inbox. I love connecting with other cool moms. I have How old is your babe? Say something like that. That could be stupid. I don't know. This is when I like new conversations are sometimes hard, you guys. So all I said was, hey, Charlotte, I was totally creeping on your profile and just had to jump into your inbox. I love connecting with other cool moms. <laughs> How old is your babe? Simple, you guys. I mean, either she responds or she doesn't, and that's okay. Okay, so I just messaged her. Okay, next. Jennifer Burger Haynes. Okay, another girl. We're friends, so. No. Okay, she just moved to Colorado. She's a hairstylist. She's friends with a lot of my Colorado friends. So we have that in common, you guys. We have that. That's always good to have something in common. And you know, when you're talking to new people, 
it's so good to like like and comment on their posts too. That way they see your posts. The more you like and comment on their posts, um, the more that you will show up in their newsfeed. So I'm going to like her post. She's building a house. That's super cool. Um, okay. Now I'm going to see if I've ever talked with her before. I'm going to love this pill. She's a hairstylist in Colorado. Okay. Message. Have I ever talked to her? Yes. Okay. I have talked to her and I created a new conversation with her. She never responded. So, I mean, when that stuff kind of happens, I might, hmm. This is when I might jump back into her inbox and just be like, hey girl. Uh, that you're building a house in Colorado. How exciting! I just moved out of Colorado, but totally loved it there. Where are you from? I don't know. I don't think that's creeper style. Um, okay, I'll see if she sees it. These are friends. Like, I just made this list, you guys, because I literally don't even know who these people are. And I need to connect with my friends on my Facebook. It looks like. These are friends that I've just not really connected with. So I'll go through this. If this is basically all new convos, I'll move on to my other list. Um, okay, she's a little girl. Kind of hard to know what she's really into when she just shares from other things. Oh my gosh, I need to work out. Danielle Smith, I miss you, coach. Okay, so it looks like she's already a beach body coach. She's already a coach. Okay, so I don't need to reach out to her. She's already a coach, so I'm gonna move on. Krista Curran. See if I've ever talked with her. I'm assuming she's in Colorado too. Yep, she lives in Colorado. And she's a very private Facebook. Oh yeah, the hailstorm in Colorado was awful yesterday. Um, okay, let me just see if I've ever messaged her. Okay, yeah, so I already reached out to her and she never responded back. Um, I'm going to move on. I'm going to do one more here and then if these are all combos, then I will move on to follow-ups and invites. Okay. Again, she's in Colorado. Guys, I friend a lot of people from where I'm from, like where I live, Colorado. I'm going to start friending people more in Washington. We have two mutual friends. Okay.
Okay, <laughs> she likes Cheetos. All right, let me just see if I ever have messaged her. Okay, so I've already messaged her too. And these people just don't like to respond. So it's hard when they don't respond because you don't want to keep just like in messaging them and they not respond back. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to move on. Okay. Let's try this one. Actually, I think I've talked to this girl about coaching before. Um, cute. Okay, so I'm going to just see last time I messaged her. Okay, so I've we've talked a little bit. She hasn't responded for a while. Okay, so yeah, so she was in my coaching event. We talked about coaching. Um, and then the last thing was, okay, so I followed up with her. <laughs> Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six times I followed up with her. Why not make it seven, okay? She was already interested in coaching. She had a lot of questions. She wanted to join my challenge groups and she's afraid to commit. So I'm going to jump back into her inbox. Um, and she's oh, she was interested in my free group. I uh, know. Okay, I'm just gonna say, hey. Hey girl. Let me say, hey Kayla. Hey, hey. Um, I want to make sure that I don't repeat what I already said before. So I scroll up and make sure that I don't sound stupid. You know, um, I was thinking about ya. I wanted to jump to your inbox and check in. How are your... Must be. Are you crushing some goals? No. Fill me in. Fill me in, girl. That's all I would say to her. Just a follow up. So that was a, an example of a follow up I would do. Hey, hey, I was thinking about you and wanted to jump into your inbox and check in. Are you crushing some goals? Fill me in, girl. That's all I say. Okay. So let's move on. Some, and you know what, guys, this takes some time, but if you're somewhat organized, then you'll, you're going to be able to, um, you know, get it done. Okay, honey. This is a girl that I used to train when I was a personal trainer. I think I've messaged her before, but I don't think she ever responded. Uh, that's funny. Um, and so I go through it and like, if, if I think that something's funny or whatever, I am going to like it. Okay. And then I'm going to jump into her inbox and see. Okay. So she accepted my request. Okay. I've reached out to her a few times already. Yeah, that's fine, honey. Okay, that was back in May, so I might as well jump into her inbox again. Hey, hey. I was just thinking about you and thought I would jump into your inbox again. <laughs> LOL.
I rem I'm going to say something about us training together. I remember when we used to train a little together and wanted to check in to see how your health and fitness is going. Fill me in, girl. Okay, so that is another check in. Okay, next. Um, how about just just Gilman Brits? Who is she? Let me see. I don't remember her. Okay. So, looks like she works a lot. She wants a vacation. <laughs> and she hates her job. <laughs> uh, <laughs> So she needs to become a coach and enjoy what she does. Okay, let me see if I've message her before. I think her name sounds really familiar. Okay. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. She was really interested in my challenge groups. Money is tight. So sorry spying so late, my son. Okay, so it basically ended on, I'm always here to help you, let me know. So I'm gonna check in with her again. That was back in April 4th. So I'm gonna say, hey, girl. Thinking about you and thought I would jump into your inbox. I've been saying that a lot. I know we chatted a bit a while back about crushing some goals together. How no, I'm gonna cross my is water. everything going? Boy. Would you still be interested <gasps> in Joining my fit groups. Fill me in. Fill me in, girl. Okay, so there is a follow up. Next. Next, next, next. Andrea. Hello. Okay, this girl, I remember, she was tight on money, um, and she was going through a lot of stuff. So, okay, let me jump back into her inbox. I hope this is helping you guys. I mean, literally, this is all I do when I work, so I hope this you know. Okay, so she had gallstones. Whoa. She was really sick. Okay, I'm just gonna check in with her. So this is just a quick check-in, letting her know I'm thinking about her. She's going through a hard time. Uh, she might not still be ready to join my challenge group, but at least, um, at least I'm getting into her inbox and, and she knows that I'm thinking about her and she might just need that extra support that we all kind of need. We just need some encouragement or somebody that's thinking about us. Um, 
So I'm just going to do that for her. I just said thinking about you today and wanted to check in. How is everything going? Fill me in, girl. I hope you are doing well. Here's my typing again. Okay, boom. Next. Okay, Veronica and Johnston. Okay, so this is a lady that really wanted to join my challenge group, but she had her wisdom teeth taken out when I was talking to her so she couldn't join right away. I don't know why my computer is being so crazy. Well, that's a weird thing. Here we go. Okay. So, okay, so she was doing well, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so we're just gonna follow up with her. Hey, Veronica. Thinking about you today. How are you feeling? I know that last time we chatted, you were doing great on your eating. Great on healthy eating. Healthy, I can't type you guys. <laughs> on healthy eating, are you still staying on track? I always have a spot for you in my fit group. So let me know when you're ready to do this together. Fill me in. Okay, there's another follow up. Next. Okay. Now we should do Lisa Anderson. Okay. Okay, I've talked to her. Oh, yum. Okay. I've talked to her before. I remember that she didn't have any Wi-Fi when I talked to her. Um, she said, I am ready. What do you recommend for DVDs? Okay. It was back in June. Hey, Lisa. Thinking about you today. That I would check in. How's your summer going so far? I know that you were interested in investing in your health and getting fit together. How are you doing with your health and fitness? Fill me in, girl. Another check-in. Okay, I need to start doing some invites. Looks like I'm doing a lot of follow-ups today. Um, baby's due in October. Okay, Megan, let's just see. This name sounds really familiar. Oh yeah, Megan. I think she was interested in coaching. Actually, cute. <laughs> okay. Okay, let me just see where I, we left off. Okay, so I followed up with her quite a bit.
Okay, so her concern was the meal plans and like not having equipment, stuff like that. And so in my voice memos, I explained to her kind of why she can still do this. So let's follow up with her again. That's fine. Can you do it? Oh, you can. Hey, Megan. Thinking about you and thought I would check in. How's, I'm just gonna say, how's your summer going? Are you doing anything fun? Sometimes you guys, it, it can't always be about health and fitness. You know, she knows what I do. We've already talked about it. Sometimes it means more to them if, you know, if you just ask how their day is going and ask what they're doing during the summer and, you know, see if there's anything you can do to help, you know, not necessarily, hey, you, st you still ready to join my challenge group or, hey, you still interested in coaching? Hey, like, sometimes they just need that first connection and then they'll be like, hey, sorry, I didn't get back to you about your challenge group or about coaching or whatever. And then the conversation can go into that more. So, um, so maybe I'll just leave it at that. <clears throat> yeah, just a second, maybe I'll get you. Um, how's your summer going? Are you doing anything fun? Fine. I go to the fun. I know. You go to a pool and it has this Are you, small. I'll just ask her, are you, are you crushing some goals? Fill me in, girl. Okay, so there's another follow-up. Let's go, Anna. I remember this girl, Bentley. Okay, after this, I'll get into more inviting. Oh yeah, this girl is so cute. Okay, I followed up with her a lot. She said that she told me her goals. She wants, she has an insane schedule. So I basically explained how this would work for her. I explained everything that's involved in my challenge group and she never responded. So I followed up with her one, two times. That was back in May. So I'm just gonna follow up with her again. Hey. Yay. So hey, hey. Thinking about you today and thought I would jump into your inbox. Oh my goodness, you guys, I need some typing lessons. Let me just jump into your inbox. How are you doing? Let's see. She really wanted to learn more. She didn't really talk to me that much. How are you doing? I know we chatted a while back about getting fit together. 
I just started a new challenge group. Would you be interested in joining this month? I'm here to help. So fill me in, girl. Okay, so we'll see if anything comes of that. Okay. Uh, do one more follow up. I noticed I haven't been following up as much as I should. Um, did I spell her name wrong? Oh, wait a minute. Okay, her name's not popping up. Maybe she unfriended me. Um, okay, okay, I'm gonna move on, I'm gonna move on. So now what I'm going to do, you guys, is I'm, I'm going to move on from my list for a second, and I'm going to go to my profile, and I'm going to go ahead and just message anybody who's liked and commented on my fitness posts, um, anything like that, and I'm going to invite them to join my challenge group. So let me scroll down. Okay, let me just see who's liked Okay, so I only got one comment on that my video last yesterday. Um, let me just pop up who liked it and maybe I can message some people in here. Okay, they're all coaches, I think. <laughs> who is this? Okay, yeah, she's already involved with the Beach Buddy coach. Um, Julie, I might message her. We messaged before and she wasn't interested, but you never know. She used to come to my Zumba class. So I'm just gonna check in on her. Hey, Julie, thinking about you today. How are, how is your summer going? Are you still taking a lot of classes at Lifetime? Miss you, girl. Okay, so just a little check up on her. And then I want to actually check up on one more girl in here on my list. Um, her name was Rachel. This one. I'm just going to go ahead and message her. Oh, I don't like that. No, that's not how we message. Hold on. Okay, I'll click on her. So she was interested in coaching and then she changed her mind. Oh, let me just see. Yeah, she never responded to my last message. I'll just message her so I can be in her mind. Hey girl, just thinking about you today. I thought I would jump into your inbox. Girl, I need some major typing lessons. Oh my gosh, come on, autocorrect. Lame. You thought you today that I would jump into your inbox? 
How are you doing? Are you still taking classes at Lifetime? I knew her from Lifetime Fitness. Fill me in, girl. Okay, that's another follow-up. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to my profile. I'll scroll down a little bit to some of my older posts. I know that I had a transformation post a little while back. And here's a coaching post. Um, okay. So, I'm gonna go back here. See if there's anybody that was interested in my post about my income and see if they're interested in coaching. Okay, some of these are challengers that might be interested in coaching. Um, most of them are coaches already. Um, but let me just see. There's anybody I can really this girl. Okay, I'm gonna follow up with her. It's just thinking about you and women to jump into your inbox. Notice you guys that I'm not copying pasting scripts. I don't do that. Um, Facebook doesn't like that and it's not as personable. So don't copy and paste scripts. Don't do it. Um, just feel out the person, feel out the conversation and create a conversation. Okay. Notice how I kind of say the same things though, like, but I just don't copy and paste. I don't like to do that. Um, how is everything going? So this girl, I've already talked to her about challenge group. She's wanted to join my challenge group for a few months and hasn't committed. Um, I'm just going to ask, are you crushing some goals? Fill me in, girl. Okay, boom. Now I should just go back. I won't make this much longer, you guys, but I hope you get the idea of, like, I don't even know how long this has been, but it's been a good, what, half hour, 45 minutes maybe, and this is all I'm doing, you guys. I'm just connecting with people. I'm just seeing who is liking and commenting. I'm seeing who's actually watching me, and I want to reach out to those people, you know? You want to make sure that you're connecting with your audience constantly and making sure. Okay, and this girl. Ugh, I hate when it does that. There it goes. Okay. I'm gonna do a challenge group invite to her. So, hey Tiff. I'll be um, talking to her movie for you in just a second. So I just said, because we chatted a little while back about challenge groups and stuff, but she kind of stopped talking to me. 
So I just said, hey, how are you doing? I know we chatted a while back about joining my fit groups. Were you still interested in Christian singles together? And then fill me in, girl. That's my new line. Fill me in, girl. Okay. All right, you guys. Oh, Danielle, hello. Okay. Okay, so I am going to come on internet. So uh, free group, blah, blah, blah. I don't think I have very many on there. I'm gonna go back to the challenge group. I had a lot of likes on this one. Most of them are coaches, which is fine. Coaches, coaches, coaches. She's going to be a coach. Um, Tiffany. Following up with her. Thinking about you today. I'm just gonna follow up with her. She's actually a friend of one of my coaches too, Candice. Hey, shout out to you, Candice. So I'm just gonna ask her about what she like. I'm just gonna tell her I'm always here to help. So fill me in. Okay, love that brawl. She is so nice. Oh, now this is like irritating because I keep having to scroll back down. Um, but I'll just do a couple more, you guys, and then I'll show you how I friend request people too. I raised friend requests last just because I, I feel like inviting and following up is way more important than friend requesting right off the bat. Okay, let me go back to this one. Andy, ooh, Andy Smith. I might need to follow up with her. Um, so a lot of these people aren't my challengers yet. A lot of them are coaches. Um, so what I'm gonna do Okay, so I have a, still a lot of following up to do that I'll go back and do um, after I do this video. And then I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna refund request people now. How do I expand my market? So I just joined a Spokane um, group. In your eyes. Yeah. Okay, we will, honey. We're just gonna go into this Facebook group. Um, and I'm just going to kind of get to know the people in here. Ooh, another a pool. So what I'm going to do, okay, honey, we'll get it. Because I'm going to comment on this post and say, hey, just moved here. I was wondering 
there was an awesome pool to go to around here. I need to check this out. Okay, so, so I'm being involved in these groups, you guys, because I want people to see my name and actually involved instead of just friend requesting everybody, right? So, cute baby. Now I'm going to go to her. Maybe she wants to be my friend. Oh, I already sent a friend request. <laughs> so that's okay. Okay, so now I'm going to go, I'm just going to go into members. This is usually what I do. There's a, like a post in there that I see I should comment on. I do. Um, oh, she's a member of the Chinese to United coach family. So she's already a coach on our team. I don't need to friend request her. Um, Natalie. Oh. Okay, so she's a friend. Oh, she knows my newborn photographer. So we have somebody in common. That's also what I look for. Stephanie Dunning is a friend. I'm gonna friend request her. So I just expanded my market by two people as long as they set my friend request. So when I look here, you guys, so she's a new member. She might need some new friends. She's super pretty. Oh, and she is already a coach. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so that's the things you have to look for, you guys. Make sure they're not already Beachbody coaches. I could totally tell she was a coach because of the friends who she was friends with. Okay. She just has a little baby. Oh, cute. Oh. See, she's a member of the Lift for Exclusive Test Group. So she is already a coach. And the baby is already coach. Okay, so we don't need to friend her. Um, Jen. No. Okay, so we have a couple people in common. We have friends. This is how I add friends, you guys. It's not that hard. Uh, oh, she might be into. Keto. Mm. Certified faster way to fat loss. So she believes in fasting. Um, she's already a coach in some sort of organization. So I'm not sure. This is when it's tough because she's part of already part of an uh, health coach business. I don't know. I might add her as a friend too because she might be the perfect beach body coach because um, she just might not know what else is out there. So, okay, I'm going to do two more friends and then I'm done here and I'm going to keep following up with people, but you get the idea of how I do it. So, um, let's see. She's a stay-at-home mama. She looks cool. Okay. Maya Deacon. Mia. Um, so she's already a coach. Brianna Garcia. I just look for my niche market to you guys. So. Okay, love this. Love this. She's a teacher. Love her pictures. They're so cute. Okay, 
She's a mom of two. I can relate to her. She can relate to me. Okay, she's a new member. She's got kiddos. Okay, and that's how I expand my market. So, you guys, I'll probably leave it at that. Um, and then, you know, I'm going to craft a post for tonight. Something to do with transformation um, because it's Transformation Tuesday. But that's kind of how my workflow goes. And even after this, I'm still going to follow up. I'm still going to be inviting. Um, and um, and so anyways, that's kind of how it works. If you guys have any questions for me, let me know. Um, but, you know, that's how, what it takes, you guys, to, to just work your business. And, you know, for me, I could be more organized and I could have my list down to a T and know who exactly I need to follow up with and who, whatever. But honestly, I mean, just talk to people and just see who you're friends with and check in with them. Be their friend. Be their, their go-to person when they think of health and fitness, you know. Be that person that you want you know, just, just let people know that, that you're there to help them and know that you're worth it too. You know, act like you've been coaching for over 10 years and you're, you know exactly what you're doing and they need to join you. And if they don't, they're missing out. Like that's the vibe you should give out when you're talking to people. Um, cause they're, they're going to feel your vibe if you are kind of not so confident in your conversations or if you're like, well, you can join me if we want to, but you know, whatever. Um, today I did a lot of follow-ups. I didn't do a whole lot of challenge group inviting, um, and that, you know, looks differently for, um, for that. So anyways, let me know if you have questions about your conversations. I'm always here to help you, but you have to work your business. You can't just come to me and be like, I don't know what's, I don't know what's going on. I'm not moving forward. I'm not hitting this rank. If you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing and we all on this team should know what we're supposed to be doing by now and if you don't then definitely ask me what you're supposed to be doing or do the new coach training that you should have already done or in the process of doing currently so okay I'm gonna get off of here but I appreciate you guys listening in I hope this helped you're probably a little bit bored but at least you kind of know what I do while I work. And like I said, I'm usually on my phone. I can do it a lot faster on my phone. I'm just like, boom, 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 boom. But doing it on the computers just takes a little bit more time for me. So, okay, guys, let me know. I'm always here to help you with whatever you need. So happy coaching, happy business building. <laughs> Bye, guys.